Hi Pisces, welcome to your past life reading for couples and this is the life after the retrograde um, forecast. Oh, okay. The first card, it actually flipped out, so let's just uh, put it here. Pisces, you've always suffered from an unrequited love, even from your, you know, even right from the very beginning. That's why you always have a hard time finding love. And you always, um, you know, settle down at very... Uh, later part of your, you know, uh, let's say at a prime age. That even though you're, uh, you know, you will... You will get married, have some child, or have a children. Um, when you were teenager <coughs> and during your teenage years you will find the one the right one for you at a later part of your life for women you will always have a hard time finding the right father for your kids because uh, you are also not a very um, you know um, caring father during your past life now because you were born as a male and female, or you were both, you, you have a masculinity, okay? You are you're first born as a man, for, for Pisces women. And you've always suffered from an unrequited love. Peep, you know, the one that you count the most, especially your father, have made your promise, but he never really went back. He just abandoned you in the street, because your mother had already died. When they, when they, um, when she uh, delivered you. So since that your father is also an irresponsible person, he just let you be out in the street and left you with one loaf of bread. Then that's it. So he expected you to just survive on your own. So now, and this was during uh, at the time that you were from, uh, you know, in the Eastern Europe. Until that you were, uh, you know, that you were um, adopted and uh, raised inside a convent because uh, someone saw you and sees that you were still a child, a very young child, so they've given you to, you know, to the nuns. And you've learned how to write, you have a very creative mind, and you were also guided. Now, your, your karmic soulmate is exactly who you are. Because when you first met the one that you, you know, the one that you really love or your true love, and this was during the time that you're, you know, that you're feeling so lost and, uh, you know, and alone, you run away from the convent at the age of 18 or at the age of uh, 17. Even though you have a background from Atlantis or you're one of the advanced civilizations, there are some things that people find you a little bit weird and they, you know, they call you crazy. And that's why you always get into trouble with the authorities because you keep on running away. Until that you've had a child with this person and um, right afterwards they just left you. Okay? And you've raised your child on your own. And you have tried to raise them in the best way that you know because you don't want to abandon your child just like how your father have abandoned you and you do have some strong faith okay trust and faith but then life keeps on testing you because apparently for some reason that you got you know you you you've been imprisoned out of something that you did not really do and because of this you know that there are some lessons and blessings from the past and right now that you need to be a little bit more thankful you get sick during the time of war okay and the and this was already um this was during the time that uh, your child is already grown and you were so afraid that if something happens to you then you will have to abandon your child okay you've always have some problems with your um with your, uh, what do you call it, so with your health. And the person who, um, um, who the father of your child is a very irresponsible, carefree, and, uh, you know, they, they're just self-serving, and they just feel like they just need to take off, and they just need to see the world more on their own, and they're not yet ready to settle, or they're not yet ready to get tied down. Even though they have tried, you know, to to stay, and they have uh, given you a promise, the promise is always something that you keep on holding on. Uh, to hope that someone, 
you know, at least will try and care for you and not to just keep you hanging. And then in your second lifetime, it's a very brief um, period of time. But then people have scarred you for being not really a witch, but you were called as an oracle before and an herbalist. But then people have defied your your cures or your, you know, your medicines and they do not really believe you. And people just called you as a witch or people just called you as a, someone who is a dark worshiper or a dark worker. All right. Because of your knowledge. And you were uh, isolated by your tribe. And it's uh, such a very brief... It's a very brief lifetime. Because you were you were just alone. Um, and you were raising your uh, your only child. While nobody else wants to, get, wants to get close to you. Until that there is one who got lost. And uh, went off to your hut. And uh, you know that is the only person that you really cared for. And uh, there's nothing that you can do but to um, cure that person. Until the time comes again that this person have promised you that they are going to go back and they, they just need to, you know, right after getting well. So, they made a promise after taking off, but they never really, you know, go back. and They never really went back. So, in this lifetime, if you are having a problem having a companion or having some, you know, um, like a very ideal person to be with it is because that you have ded dedicated so much of your time in your life in creating your own platform or creating your own milestone but the people around you they find you a little bit too strong and too independent to the extent that they feel like you don't really need anyone else in your side and that's why every time that they go and if even if they don't uh, go back, they feel like, oh, okay, she's, she's going to be okay. She'll be fine. She's going to cope up. She's a very strong person. And she's been living like that, you know, for such a long period of time. And of course, she'll, she, she's going to survive without me. So the people around you and your long lost soulmate who just wandered off after, you know, um, impregnating you, this person needs to be forgiven. Okay. And that is the reason why your life keeps on hanging and dangling because you never really forgiven this person that right after impregnating you, leaving you in the middle of everything, they never really look back and they never really, you know, um, mind looking out for you from your father down to the father of your child and down to your second lifetime. You've always have some problems with your health. And you've always have some problems with other people giving you a lot of promises because they find you too strong to be with. I mean, it's not really a thing or it's not really a sin or it's not something that you should not really expose or it's like a bad thing. But those people that you meet are actually the weak ones. Okay. Now you need to sh learn how to open up your you help how to open up yourself. You know, sometimes you need to remove your shell in order for other people to see your vulnerability. You have a very good heart, but you have to know how to open up and learn how to communicate. You're always very mindful of your career and you do good in money, but when it comes to love life, there are two things that you that you need to understand if you choose love life then your career will suffer if your career if you choose career then you will find it hard to have a love life okay and the person that you will always fall in love with will always be separated from you do not wear a wedding ring because uh, marriage is something that you have cursed in your first lifetime and you also need to learn how to be a little bit more playful because you never learn how it is to be a child. And you also need to let, to let other people help you heal some family issues and find the right one that is really worth waiting for. And don't wait for someone who's not going to come. You also need to let go of your control issues. And the person that is really uh, right for you and meant for you or the one that you're already with should and come from another place or this is your real soulmate and the person or the your soulmate is somebody that you've already met in the past and you will be reconciled with this person whether it's for friendship or for a new love 
and you also need to free yourself up from all the burdens that you have incurred from your past life down to this lifetime all right anyway that's it for you for this uh, retrograde pisces and if you want to talk to me live in the phone live in the calls or if you want to have your own past life reading just go and visit me at my website at sophieangel.net blessings to you